So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael, and you might not be aware, but it's the 1950s and we're in New York, and it's ruled by mobsters. That's because today we're going to be playing The Godfather. Both myself and Rogue are going to be taking on rival families who are trying to secret way money in their suitcases and whoever can secret away the most money will be able to basically buy control of the city when the Don dies. So here is the game all set up and we're ready to go. I'm going to be the blue figures which is the Matarazzo family and Rogue is going to be the purple figures which is the Kakamao, not to be confused with the Kakamaos. And so if you need to learn how to do all this setup I'd advise that you do watch the Watch It Played how to play video because I've not actually done one myself. Um, but let's have a look at the jobs on offer. So we have Shakedown, which you need one of each of the goods, and you're able to shake down the front of any business, even if it already has a fug in it, and you get a reward of $5. And we have Muscle In, which requires two blood money, and you're able to take one of your figures back from the city and use it immediately again, and it gives you two $2. And of course our suitcase starts off empty and very shiny, not good for cameras. But we do get starting hand of cards. So we're both going to start with a $1, a $2 and a $3. But then we each have two random missions as well, two random jobs. So we've got a shakedown, this is the same as what was available in the market. And a car bomb. So these are our private jobs that only we can do. And the car bomb does require free firearms though, but you get to gun down all enemy player figures in one turf and you get two free dollar bills, so pretty awesome. And in phase one here we reveal a new business which is the Mitz building, which the back end allows you to suitcase some money and the front end gives you two money and allows you to suitcase money. And this is going to sit in Wall Street here. So we're ready to begin and our first player with the horse's head is Rogue. And her first action is going to be place her family member just here. So she gets to shake down the back of all these businesses. So she gets a firearms card. She gets to draw two job cards and pick one to keep, one to discard. And she is going to be discarding a shakedown card and she can suitcase twice so she is going to put in her suitcase a three dollar and a one dollar and it's our go i'm not keen on the fact that rogue is collecting guns over here but although we could go get guns and we do have the car bomb i quite like the look of trying to get this muscle in here and so we're going to need some blood money to do that and if we go here with our family member, we'll also get both these buildings and compete on control for Wall Street. So I'm thinking that's going to be a good idea. So we're going to go with family member here. Uh, we get blood money. So we'll just add that to our hand. Um, we get to suitcase something. So, hmm. Well, the ally that's going to be up for bid is the union boss which you move the union boss to an unoccupied business fug space and you shake down the front of the building so basically it gives you an additional fug that doesn't count towards your area control in fact it counts against it but an additional fug could be quite useful so having some lower numbers to be able to bid might be good but at the same time we want to get points in our suitcase so yeah, difficult choice. I think, I might regret it, but I think we're going to suitcase the free dollar. So, in it goes. Nom. Um, and then, yeah, jobs. So, let's see, we get two cards, and oh, well, they're both yellow jobs. 
We've got a backroom deal. Needing two alcohol. Shopped free money cards from your hand and suitcase them. Well, that's very nice, but it's going to require me getting two alcohol, which... Um, well, I might be able to manage that. Or we can have other players discard a card. You may choose one and suitcase it. And this only requires one alcohol. Oh, difficult, difficult, difficult. I mean, being able to suitcase is really useful. And I guess there's a chance I can get two. If I get the muscle in as well, then maybe, maybe I can get two. Or is that a fool's errand? No, we'll go for the harder one. So we'll go for the backroom deal. Rogue taking an aggressive stance off the bat, going for the gun dealership. So yet another gun card. So that's her second gun card now. Worrying. And we need another money card for this. So we'll send a fuck to the Korean laundry to get us some money. So we've now got the two money we need for this job, but it's Rogue first. And she's gonna shore up her control of Wall Street here with the Mets building. So she gets $2, and she's actually gonna use the suitcase to suitcase that $2. Then for Algo, we're gonna complete a job. So two blood money for the muscle in here. And this will give us two two dollars and allows us to take a figure and use it again immediately so first we suitcase that and we're going to take our family member because we're not competing on Wall Street now we're, we're I mean we could put one more in and make it neutral but yeah I don't think there's much point so what we're going to do is get the alcohol that we need so if we come over here think that will make the most sense because then we're blocking them on Chelsea we'll get to do two suitcases and we get the alcohol so we add the alcohol to our hand uh, we'll suitcase we'll actually suitcase I think the two dollar and one dollar that we already had in hand rather than anything else so in that goes and that's us done and on rogue's turn we hear the screeching of tires and the firing of bullets as there's a drive-by shooting so this is going to take both of her gun cards that she's picked up and she guns down one figure from up to two different players obviously there's only me so she only gets to gun down one figure and she's going to gun down my poor old family member here my don putting him in the hudson river so he's sleeping with the fishes tonight. And for doing this, she gains two two dollar bills. And of course gets to suitcase that job. So that's a huge setback on the area control, because now Rogue is getting Chelsea. I'm no longer gonna get the upper west side unless I do this. Uh, which still doesn't solve the Chelsea problem, but it does solve the Upper West Side, and I needed the alcohol anyway. So that gives me another alcohol into hand. Then Rogue's going to send a fug to shake down the cemetery, which is a bit weird, in Queens here. Uh, so she discards two cards, and she's going to discard a car bomb job, and a $2 bill. And she gets a $5 bill. But she doesn't get the top back end ability, only the front. So that just goes to her hand. And that's her last figure. So she's not going to be able to do anything more this round. So we've still got a fug left, so we can do more. And we're going to do this backroom deal. So two alcohol complete this job so show up to free money cards from your hand and suitcase them and we get two two money cards so we're gonna suitcase free money which will drop in there so six money sorry so free twos and oh that also goes in there so we've only got three cards in hand now 
and it's still with us because Rogue has nothing left. But we haven't got anything to complete any jobs, so what we can do is place a fug. The options we have are here in the Upper East Side, here in Chelsea, or here in Wall Street. Now, card-wise, the barber shop and getting more jobs would be useful, potentially. But that's not going to help us on area control there at all. Uh, we can't do anything about area control over anywhere else. Chelsea, if we go there, all we're doing is denying the area control to Rogue. We could go here and we'd get first player and control of the Upper East Side. I think, I mean, the suitcasing, I'm not too worried about this, this turn because we've not got that many cards in hand. So I think it comes down to these two and it's whether or not we want this area control. But I mean, that's potentially five points at the end of the game, whereas that's potentially more quests, more jobs completed, which could be even more. I think, I think we're going to pick up the jobs while we can because Rogue's going to have control of this. And then if we go there next round, she's going to be also able to get jobs and not even have to use a person. So this is going to be, I think, the best thing for us to do. And we get uh, a, sh a shakedown, which we've already got one of, or an extortion. Add to your hand free money cards from one player's suitcase. Their choice. Uh, I mean, power-wise, I much prefer the shakedown, so I think we're going to get rid of the extortion. Kind of regret that choice, but oh well, we didn't know what those were going to be. So that's the end of family business and on to the turf war. So Wall Street, Rogue has two, I have one. Brooklyn, we get, so we're the only ones there. Queens is going to be Rogue, although we should do Upper East Side, but no one's there. Uh, upper West Side is ours. And then... Midtown and Chelsea are all rogues, so she's got a lot of the area control. We've got two, she's got four. And on to the bribery phase. So this union boss here, basically an extra fug, is kind of appealing. But how much, how much are we willing to spend? I mean, how much money have we got in here? We've got one, two, three, four twos. So that's quite a bit, uh, a one and a three. So I think we've definitely got more money. So how much is an extra fug worth to us? Well, I mean, we've got the hand size. We won't have to discard any cards for picking it up. So I think it's potentially worth a fair amount because that's an extra action. So, I think, I think we'll go for the free. I mean, three points is quite a lot to pay for it, but uh, yeah, I think we'll do that. I think, it, I think it will be worth it in the long run. So, let's have a look. That's our suitcase sorted. Uh, we've got rogues and rogue only bid two and we bid the free. So we lose our free, but rogue gets to keep her two. And we get the union boss into our hand. So that actually then moves us on to the tribute phase to the Don, but we have one, two, three, four, five cards, so we're fine. And Rogue has the same. So before we start Act 2, we still have the shakedown job here, but we need to refill the empty one, and we get another muscle-in job. So that's the same as I did before, that allowed me to put someone into a different place, or even back in the same place I could have, I suppose. So we are on to Act 2, which is uh, the Turk. So we've done the wedding, we're on to the Turk. 
and we get some family members each. So Rogue gets the guy with the baseball bat. I don't know their names. If you if you watch The Godfather, if you're a big Godfather fan, you probably do. But uh, this guy, this guy's got a gun. That's pretty cool. I I could use more guns. I'm sure. And our new building for the round is Mets and Vise Oil. So this is interesting because the last building was the Mets building. So they're, they're being very uh, predominant in this game. On to family business. And Rogue still has the horse's head, so we'll be our first player again. And that uh, oil coming out has made it very obvious to go for this because you get two money which is enough to then complete the muscle in so it's like wow just amazing combination of getting the two money so that's really good and then with regards to area control you're getting into Brooklyn and Wall Street which both have two shops now so really good locations yeah that it's a outstanding move so there we go two money um, she also gets jobs and she's gonna discard can't refuse which is a yellow one alcohol job and keep the other one and so what's she not done ah oh, she's not done the suitcase so suitcase she will put in five dollar and then it's my go hmm seems a little less obvious now for me well I'm thinking need to do shakedown because that's one of the jobs available publicly. I've got two in my hand and then my other one is a car bomb. So, you know, we're talking guns on all these jobs. We need to go somewhere where we can get guns. I don't really want to put a thug here because then Rogue would get guns. So I'm thinking family member. So if we go here, we get quite a lot of stuff. Um, but we wouldn't be able to use both those suitcases, so uh, probably still the best option because we can't go on these spaces because there's only two players. Yeah, so we'll go there. So we get a gun. Um, we can suitcase. Well, suitcase two dollar, which is unfortunately all we've got. We haven't got any more dollars. Um, so we can't do the other suitcase but we can do jobs so let's see what jobs we get another shakedown or extortion which I don't really like because um, the problem with extortion is they pick the money and you just end up with rubbish money and it's been hard to do so I think I'm gonna get rid of the extortion and keep the shakedown and yeah this this time I'm gonna be working on doing some of these shakedowns I think and then Rogue's going to do the clearly obvious move to Blood Money to do the muscle in. So she gets two two dollars into her hand and can take a figure back from the city and place it again immediately. So she's going to take this one back and place it there again immediately. And the job will go to her suitcase. So this means she gets that two blood money straight back. And she could put some money in her suitcase. So she's going to put a $2 card in there. And so it's that, that, that. Job. She'll discard Shakedown. I'm going to use the Union Boss, so I'll play that and I want to move him in there. So I get one dollar and a Blood Money card. Rogue's going to place her other family member here, so she gets a firearms card for this and a suitcase for this. So she will suitcase two dollar bill and she gets a suitcase for this which will be another two dollar bill. So all I'm missing for a shakedown is alcohol which I can get from the family bar here and nowhere else. So I'm gonna place a fug here while I still can. So that get me one alcohol card. Continuing her aggressive streak, Rogue is gonna send the boys down to Midtown 
to the gun dealership and get yet more firearms. So we've got the resources to do the shakedown. But even if this one goes, we've still got free in hand. So I'm not going to rush to do that. Instead, I think we need to focus on things that might get blocked off. So to do these jobs here, we need guns. There's no way we're going to get the guns we need. Just one space on the board for the gun bomb, for the car bomb. Um, especially, you know, we've only got one guy, we can't go on there. Yeah, I mean, the most guns we're going to be able to get is two more. So I think the sensible thing to do is aim to do more shakedowns. So we can use this guy to get one by going to either of these. So there's no rush on getting those. We can get an alcohol from doing a shakedown. So the other thing we need is blood money. So we'll send a fug there to get us some blood money. Rogue is going to send a fug down to the barber shop, so she'll get two job cards and she'll discard intimidation, which would require free blood money. Gives two frees and allows you to add one of your control markers to one turf. So now let's get our firearms. So we'll go here. So we get one dollar for this space and a firearms card. And this is good because now we should, well, in theory we might anyway, end up with control of the Upper East Side, which is the next one to get a new building. So that'll be a valuable space in the next round. And we're stopping them adding another token there, although they're still going to con keep control. And Rogue, it's going to go boom, boom. Time for a drive-by. So drive-by shooting, uh, let's see, she gets four money and she can gun down a figure. So she's going to gun down my family member here. Ouch. Well, she's not the only one who can do jobs. We can do a shakedown and we'll shake down the uh, family bar here to get some more alcohol and that gets us a five dollar bill which is very handy and of course that gets to go in our suitcase and uh, Rogue's going to do our job as well and uh, we got muscle in so two twos and she can take a figure back and reuse it immediately. So she's going to take this one and place it there. So she gets one dollar. She gets a gun card. And she gets a suitcase. And she will suitcase a two dollar card. We're going to do a shakedown and we're going to do it on the Mets building here. So we get $5 for the shakedown and we get $2 for the location and we also get to suitcase something. So we'll suitcase a $5 and then Rogue's one aggressive kitty because pow, take the cannoli. She's going to gun down this guy, so he goes to the Hudson. And she gets $3 for that. And of course the job gets to go into her suitcase. And we've got far too many cards, so we need to suitcase. And unfortunately, the suitcase options are in Wall Street, or at least that we can do with a Fug, and Chelsea. Both controlled by Rogue, so she'll also get to suitcase. Um, don't think there's really much we can do about that. And we're also then losing control of the Upper East Side. Oh, it's not going well. Okay, well I don't want to give her the money, we'd just have to discard it anyway, I think. 
So uh, we'll go for the accounting office. And that then would give us control of Chelsea for the next round. So added bonus there. And of course, we're going to suitcase our $5 card. And Rogue will suitcase a $3 card. So Rogue has one last fuck to place. Now, she has a ton of cards, so she could do with suitcasing. But the only suitcasing option would be there, which wouldn't help her on the area control, because she's already controlling there, and she's going to get to place another token there. She can't go over here, and that's going to be a tie break. So we're going to keep hold of this place. Uh, she's getting the Upper East Side, so she's taking control there. She's already got Queens, so she doesn't need to go there. Upper West Side, we're going to keep this control of here at the moment. But if she goes there, she's going to give us something, which we've got a handful of cards. which So it's probably actually a problem for us. And then she's going to lose Chelsea at the moment, but she can't do anything about that. She's going to keep Midtown. Okay, so she's going to go here, because then she'll have control of it for next round. It does mean she gets an alcohol card and we get an alcohol card but it makes sense with regards to area control and with that done we're on to the turf war as no one has any figures left so uh we pretty much just went through what's going to happen wall street is rogues brooklyn doesn't change upper east side rogue gets a token down Queens doesn't change. Upper West Side, Rogue places a token. Midtown, Rogue places a token. And Chelsea, we get to place a token. And on to bribery. And up for grabs, we have the family accountant, which just allows you to do two suitcases. But that's not to be overrated. I mean, that's the ability to gain points, in effect. So, hmm. But how much is that worth to us? I mean, what have we got in here? We've got a one, one, two, three, four, five, twos, two fives. So we've got 21 at the moment. I mean, the family accountant would be nice, but I really don't want to overpay because, I mean, how many points is that really going to gain us? So I think the sensible thing to do if we go for free, I mean, that's just like the equivalent of being able to do two suitcases. I mean, if you look, two suitcases this turn, this round, would have meant we could get rid of three more points. So if we're giving up three points this time, we've got two more acts left, we could in theory double our money. So we'll go for free. So we'll drop that in there, that in there. And let's see what did Rogue bid. So Rogue has bid, oh, just the one, two, and we did three. So we did win. Unfortunately, that does have a downside because that's yet another card in our hand and Rogue gets to keep her money, which is points. Um, hmm. So we've got a lot of cards in hand, and it is now time for us to do the tribute to the Dom. I mean, we don't want to get rid of either of the allies, so we're definitely keeping those. I mean, alcohol has been hard to come by. These are points, or these are potentially more points than those. I mean, this... This car bomb, we've just not been able to do it. She's done so many greys, we're not going to be competing on the greys to get those bonus endgame points. And these are worth more points. So we'll discard the car bomb. We just need to get rid of three more. Oh god. I mean, we could just get rid of those three. And then we don't need to get jobs. We'll just focus on these and potentially the ones in the market and we can guarantee being able to suitcase them using this. I think, I think that's going to be the way we're going to go. I hate to get rid of points, but um, I 
think it, it's needed. Rogue also has to give up some cards because she's got seven. So she's got to get rid of two. So she's going to get rid of a one. And she'll get rid of a two. So on the bright side, we got rid of money, but so did Rogue. So I feel less bad about having to discard money. Okay, we discarded more than she did, but still, I feel less bad. So we'll collect up our people and put out two new jobs. So we've got Muscled Out, which allows you to move any figure to a new space, but they don't trigger the ability and gives you free money. And we've got another Muscle In, as we've seen several times this game. So I really wish I was going first. 